my dear friends today we celebrate the feast of saint Irenaeus bishop martyr and apostolic father of the church from 130 to 280 is well known as the father of Catholic theology from Asia Minor, the modern Turkey. In his youth, he had seen and heard Saint Polycarp was a disciple of John the Evangelist, the favorite disciple of Jesus. Soon after his ordination, he was sent to Loyans in France. And about the year 177, violent persecution broke out where Emperor Marcus Aurelius persecuted the church in Lyons. Many of the priests had sealed their faith in blood. Saint Irenaeus became bishop of the sadly decimated flock in Lyons in France. For some 24 years, he was bishop and succeeded in gaining many converts to the faith and rebuilding the churches. But he is chiefly known for his remarkable writings, which we possess even today. He had mastered both the Greek and the Oriental philosophies. His immortal work against heresies is venerable to all, which appeals to the apostolic tradition. Yes, my dear friends, Saint Irenaeus can also be called the author of the first known Christian catechism for his book, Proof of the Apostolic Preaching, was a presentation of the doctrines of our faith for the use of lay people. According to Saint Jerome, Saint Irenaeus died a martyr's death. My dear friends, today as we celebrate the feast of this great saint of the early church martyrs, let us, through his intercession, we may bear worthy witness knowing well that these early martyrs have planted the seed by their blood that we may live with freedom and respect to them and to the faith that they have laid down to us till today. Dear Lord, we thank you for giving us Saint Irenaeus as an example of holiness. Help us to imitate the devotion to you he showed in choosing to serve you as a priest. Saint Irenaeus, we know very little about your early life, but we know you were greatly influenced by Saint Polycarp, who had known the apostles, following his holy example. You chose to devote your life to God's service as a priest. Please bring my petitions before God, whom you chose to serve. Even though Christians were often persecuted in your society, you boldly chose to devote your life to God as a priest for the rest of your life. Pray for me that I may always answer God's call to serve Him in my life. Pray that I may be eager to serve Him in whatever ways He calls me to. Saint Irenaeus, pray for us.